Alright, it's BLM here. It's time for another video. This is going to be a game collection update, um, which you probably won't see for quite a while because I'm pretty, like, backlogged on putting these up. So, um, you probably won't see this until a few weeks after it's been filmed. Um, like, right now it's March 2nd, so, um, yeah, you probably won't see this until the end of March, but whatever. Uh, so, yeah. This is why I picked up um, at the very end of February, and a few things on March 1st, actually. But, uh, yeah, just this is the pickup for last week. It's my last pickup video, actually. And, actually, not even a week. I believe I shot my last pickup video on Tuesday. And it, it's, uh, I believe, it's Saturday now, so, whatever. Um, I guess I'll just do it in a random order. Um, I guess I'll start with this first. This is kind of le less important. Um, I actually went to a thrift store and found this there for a dollar, so I was like, whatever. Uh, Need for Speed Undercover. Uh, it's complete, but not in the greatest shape. It's actually in pretty crappy shape, but for a dollar, I mean, I was like, whatever. PSP game that I don't have for a dollar, I'll pick it up. Alright, and then um, these two stacks right here, I actually picked up from Gamers Inc. Uh, I finally went back there. I haven't been there in like a month, and yeah, picked up some games. Um, I actually trade in the N64 that I had in um, a pickup video in December from yard selling. I bought N64 for like three dollars with nothing with it, and uh, I traded it in. I got ten dollars in credit, um, which is actually better than what I was expecting. It was actually really beat up, but they gave me ten dollars. I was happy with that, and I picked up these games, um, and I ended up paying eight dollars out of my pocket, so it wasn't that bad. So, uh, most of these were a dollar piece because most of these are sports games, to be honest. But, um, I did pick up some games I wanted, so. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, a couple of loose cart Genesis games. To be honest, I don't know why I picked this up. Um, I actually don't even remember picking this up, but whatever. Uh, World Trophy Soccer. I don't know. This one I purposely picked up because it's in, like, this weird part. Um, and that is Jack Nicholas Power Challenge Golf. Um, pretty cheap game, but. Um, I don't see these, like, weird carts too often, so I decided to get it for a buck. Then, um, finally got a new S64 game. I haven't gotten one in forever, but, uh, this one was only a dollar. That's WWF Attitude. I actually thought I had this until I was doing my S4 collection video, which I did a couple days ago, and, uh, yeah, this was in there, so, kind of had to get that. Um... Got these three Super Nintendo games for a dollar piece. Got Jack and Nicholas Golf, Riddick Bowl Boxing, and um, Newman has in the car featuring um, Nigel Mansell in terrible condition. This one's in absolutely terrible condition, but they're all dollar piece, not bad. Um, <laughs> picked up John Madden Football in '93. Uh, it is complete, but. It's John Madden in Football 93. Uh, it was a dollar. So. And then after that, I got... Um, this was pretty cool. Ultimate Basketball, which... The game itself is nothing special, but... I just came the manual. Uh, and it came for the dust lead. So, for a dollar, I thought that was like a steal right there. Even though the manual is actually falling apart. But still, a dollar for like a dust lead and the game and manual, it's a pretty good deal. Alright, after that, got some PS1 games here. Uh, for a buck, I picked up Full Contact, NFL Full Contact, I guess. Um, yeah, I've never seen this game in a while before, so I decided to get it for a dollar. Whatever. These next two, I paid two dollars a piece for. Um, I got Air Hockey. Um, yeah, two dollars for this, not bad. It's like a five dollar game, and um, yeah, I actually kind of wanted to play this because it has like um, anime characters in it actually. Like I just looked at the back, and they're like. Freaking anime characters in it and stuff like that. It's air hockey. I mean, whatever. I got it. Two bucks. And this one I also got for two bucks because I remember seeing some gameplay of it recently and it looks pretty decent. And that's Crossroad Crisis. Um, it's another A1 uh game. Um, which is a uh, part of H Tech and they uh, publish a whole bunch of games for PS1 that are really generic. And I kind of want to get them all. Like, I have, uh, like, snowboarding, and I have another one of these ten uh, puzzle games, and I have, like, tennis and stuff like that. So, I, I'll probably get all of them eventually, but, uh, yeah, I got this one. Two bucks, not bad. Uh, it's complete, so, um, decent, decent puzzle game. For PS2, for a buck, I picked up Backyard Football 2006. 
Ah, uh, complete and like mint shade. So for a buck, I picked it up. Whatever. Uh, I guess I'll do this DS game here for two bucks. I picked it up. I never even heard of this in my entire life, but I decided to get it for two bucks. Because, as I said before, any complete DS game for two bucks, I pick up right away. And that is Lionel Trains on Track. Uh, it's complete. I never heard of this game ever before in my entire life. I looked it up, it goes for like $10. So, $2 not a bad deal. Um, it's a train game. Um, I'm hoping it's like Denture to Go in some way. Because I always wanted to play Denture to Go, but it was only when it's in Japan. But I kind of doubt it. Um, because this actually looks like a piece of crap. So, uh, I'll give it a try, see how it is. And then this last one here, I picked up for 3 bucks. This is a game I've been wanting to play for a long time, but never could find a copy. Finally got it, and that is Bombastic, uh, published by Capcom. It is complete, in pretty good shape, with the exception of the sticker on the back that's a pain to get off. But um, three bucks, not bad. It's a Capcom puzzle game, so it can't be that bad, can it? Right, and the remainder of the stuff here is from GameStop. Um, they recently had some uh, price drops, so I decided to go in and see if they had any of the games. Uh, so yeah, I ended up walking out with five games. I believe this ended up being like ten dollars, so. Uh, this first one here was actually a dollar, and uh, this kind of surprised me that it was there, and that is uh, America's Test K Kitchen Let's Get Cooking for DS. And um, the thing that's more surprising is that, that this is actually sealed, and it's only priced at a dollar. Um, it's kind of surprising that GameStop actually still has sealed DS games. I mean, like factory sealed, not GameStop sealed. But only for a dollar, I kind of had to pick it up. Um, I'm trying to debate over opening it or not, because if I open it, I can get the Nintendo points, but... Yeah, I'm just going to keep it sealed. For PS3, this is the box. Uh, I got two for lies. I can't even play this. You need a microphone. But, um, yeah. Uh, it seems like an interesting game, I guess. But I'm not going to play it. You don't have a microphone. For the Wii, I got Anubis 2. Um, this is a really crappy game, but I really wanted this game. Um, mainly because it's known as one of the worst games ever created. I mean, this and Ninja Breadman, which were... Um, both developed by the same developer and everything, and they're pretty much the exact same game, it's just that this one's Egyptian themed and the other one is um, candy themed. They both have the exact same levels and everything, and they're both supposed to be incredibly crappy, and I really wanted to play this, so for two bucks, I consider this a steal. Then uh, this next one is actually two bucks brand new. Um, this is the, like these next two games are two games that recently dropped in price, um, along with Two Human, which um, I just bought, which kind of sucks, and uh, Metroid Other M, which I already had, so. so yeah, I picked up Vampire Rain for two bucks, brand new. Um, yeah, complete, great shape. Um, but brand new, I shouldn't say GameStop new. But um, I actually popped this in. It it's okay. It's it's worth two dollars. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest game, but it's definitely worth two dollars though. Definitely give it a try. It's okay. And then this one was actually um. This one I actually picked up a used copy because they didn't have any new copies there. And it was only four dollars. And it's a game I've been wanting for a long time, but I was waiting for a price to drop. For the longest time it stayed at around twenty. It finally dropped to ten and then now they dropped it to five. Um but like four used and I picked it up for four used and that is Ninja Blade. Complete not in the greatest shape to be honest, but it is a game I've been wanting to play for a long time, so I finally got it. It's developed by From Software to get people that made uh Demon Souls and stuff like that. Uh, and a togi and stuff like that. But, um, great hack and slash game. Um, really nothing remarkable in any way, but it has, uh, it's a really fun game. I mean, if you like hack and slash games, definitely let's want to try. It's actually really fun. A lot like God of War in a way. Both ninjas. Um, so yeah, um, that's my game collection update. Uh, thank you for watching.